everyone and thank you so much for watching. Welcome to my channel and today I made you a get ready with me talking about a lot of subjects, like a lot of different subjects. And I made you this look. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. I am going to start with a primer and yeah, basically talk about light and stuff. I use the Sephora. Look, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna list the products in the down bar below. I think it's gonna be easier. I'm just gonna leave them on the side so I can do that after. So I'm using a Sephora silicone based primer, basically. Okay, so. I don't know if you remember, I did, in a video, I mentioned that um, sometimes I wanted to cry for no reasons. And also my skin has been very bad and just Overall, I was feeling like something was wrong with me. So I, uh, you know, like now there is this boom of people coming out with uh, breast implant disease. So I thought I had that, but then uh, I looked into it and my implants are not at all in the risk category. So uh, I, I probably thought it was not that. And then uh, I, when I was searching my symptoms, Everything seemed to say that it was hormonal, but I'm not taking the pill, but I have a coil that is non-hormonal. I had a coil. So basically, uh, I emailed my gynecologist telling him all my symptoms. And uh, he told me to come to his cabinet straight away to remove it. And since then, I never had the sensation to cry again. Or whatever but uh, basically the like I was fooled because like I was like how can I have hormonal symptoms when the coil is non hormonal right then I'm using the bourgeois healthy mix foundation basically it is non hormonal but it's still doing imbalance in your hormones so it is kind of hormonal I was thinking all of sorts of stuff I was thinking that I was in depression so I'm just taking a pump of each color. So one is number 53 and one is number 57. I had all these symptoms. I was thinking that I was going crazy. Well, I'm a bit crazy already, but I thought I was going into depression or something. And uh, yes, yeah. so he removed my coil. Since then, I didn't want to cry once. My pimples on my chin disappeared because this was my main concern. I always, all my life, had good skin, like, I'm not pretentious, I really always had good skin. Yeah, he was telling me that usually it's very well tolerated by women, but sometimes when women want a child consciously or unconsciously, or consciously, whatever, uh, your body starts to make you ill, so you remove the coil because it your, your body feels that there is something like uh, not letting you get pregnant, do you know what I mean? So, uh, my, so apparently my body wants to have a baby, but my bank account doesn't agree. Painting first with a brush. It's a real Technics brush that I really, really like. Also guys, do you see this? Before you start thinking that I get into fights or something, uh, it's just that I do my Brazilian blowouts myself and it takes so much patience and so much different positions that I burn myself here, behind the ear, on my neck, but, you know, <laughs> apparently I'll do a lot to save some coins. Okay, then I'm just going over my skin with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender. Because there is nothing like, even if I apply my foundation with a brush, I still use a beauty blender. So now I'm doing my eyebrows. Basically what I do is that like, I, I do an upper line, a, a down line. The down line I started from the beginning and the upper line I started here. And then I just fill it in. I'm just gonna show you. I'm trying not never to touch my face for uh, support because it would disturb the foundation and it wouldn't make a perfect base anymore. Like, after I'm gonna go with concealer, but basically, I just go like, like this, 
and I go in the way of the eyebrow after and I just fill it in totally. Once I did my eyebrows, I'm gonna take my MAC concealer, the one in the pot, this one, and it is in NW20. And I'm just gonna take these brushes from one of the Urban Decay palettes and go underneath my eyebrow to define and highlight, kind of. But the way guys, I'm like all shaky I went, because I take too much pre-workout. I went for a two hour walk before, usually I run, but I couldn't run because I'm doing this new program. By the way, if you want any uh, tips for working out, just message me on my Instagram and I'll send you my workout. Do like that and then I blend underneath with the brush. Okay, I have this tip like to make uh, the brow start like very soft is once I finished with this side of the brush, I just go over like the beginning of my eyebrows. So it looks just more faded. Yesterday I went, um, okay, I was just with my daughter at home. Usually I go to the gym, but as my legs were hurting so much, I couldn't make it. So usually I go to the gym, I leave her at the nursery, so she's busy with other kids, etc. I'm using the Becca under eye brightening corrector. So I just put this with my fingers. So yesterday um, I was aching too much and my daughter was a bit bored. So I decided to take her to the park. If you watch my videos, you know that I absolutely despise parks. And I'm warning you that this experience I had at the park is gonna be the exact same thing like it made me feel even worse about the fact to go parks now i'm <laughs> but my daughter was very excited <laughs> well basically around my house there is about five different parks like literally five different parks i'm not joking um uh, at first i went to a first park and it took ages to get there and everything. And uh, you know the slide? They were like, okay, first of all, I was wearing my Yeezys and I had a Louis Vuitton backpack. And there was like four girls taking like Instagram pics on uh, the, how to say, the stairs of the slide. Like, first of all, they were like posing on the stairs of the slide. Like, ha, ha, like, how rank is that? Seriously, that's rank. And they were about 16 years old. And if I'm honest, they looked like a bit like ghetto. Okay. And uh, my daughter was like, mommy, I want to go on the slide. I want to go on the slide. But they were not moving. And I was like, mm, I'm not in the mood, in the mood to, <laughs> to get robbed today. So I just moved to another park. Okay, so I just basically applied like in my problem areas this and it, it does brighten a bit, but I'm gonna go over with a concealer. So then I went into another park. All the kids there were a bit older and she kind of wanted to play with them. But the kids really didn't want to because she was too small. And I was feeling just like so anxious, like that like they would hurt her or I don't know. I just was feeling bad. I hate parks, okay? And there was like a group of parents and it's like super awkward. And the group of parents, I knew I wouldn't vibe with them. You know, when people say like, oh no, you have to talk with people in order to make a better opinion, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, in 99% of cases, I can surely tell you that people I see that I cannot be friends with them, I'm not gonna be friends with them. I, as a matter of fact, I met in my life two people that I was like, okay, we're very different, but maybe it could work. It didn't work, so whatever. And I don't know, I was just getting very, very anxious. Like I wasn't feeling good about the kids. I had to watch my daughter, then I wanted to leave her some space. And I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna overact so bad when she starts school anyway, I think. Cause it's like getting me like so anxious, like something unreal. I'm using the eraser eye from Maybelline. So, I don't know, but yeah. And then um, I didn't want to upset her because she was really, really liking the park. So um, I just like tricked her. I said, let's go buy uh, chocolate milk and a croissant. 
and she said, yeah, yeah, okay, let's go. So it was fine. I bought her chocolate milk and a croissant and I was out of the situation. Seriously, guys, parks for me are not the thing. Like they're not my vibe. I hate parks. And this just confirmed. But then I was like, oh yeah, I'll get out of my comfort zone. No, I'm not going to parks anymore unless I am with friends. Like that's horrible. And watching my daughter, like, I don't know, I'm just so scared that someone will push her, do something mean. I feel like kids are so mean these days, you know? What do you think, guys, you who have kids? Do you think I'm a bit dramatic? Like, what do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna blend my concealer with my beauty blender and set it with a uh, Real Technique sponge with the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Cameo. And also going, like, on my lid, on my lid. I don't put the concealer in the middle of the face, I don't know why. A lot of people do it, but I think it works just fine like this for me. Setting the concealer. Uh, by the way, the other day I tried to film a, like, using my retro makeup, but it was such a fail, it was horrible. Like, uh, I'm, <laughs> no, I, I won't post it, just like, it didn't work out. And also, like, I know my makeup, uh, Videos are not like what you prefer, but because I, I, I mean, like there is such creative people like James Charles, Holly Boone, they're like unreal. Like I would never, but even in, in my everyday life, I would never see myself like wearing a triple cut crease with uh, rainbow color. Do you know what I mean? Then I'm taking the RCMA powder to uh, with a elf brush to set my... Um, Eyebrows and eyelid in place so I can start eyeshadow. You know what I feel? I feel like with all this baking, all this plastic surgery, all like the girl who want bigger boobs, aka me, who want bigger lips, aka me, who want bigger butt, aka me, it's like I feel like everything is getting so, 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 so fake these days that the fashion will just turn. Like, I feel like the fashion will be, I don't know, I'm doing this video and I'm gonna post what I'm saying right now because I feel like in the coming like months or like a year, it's gonna be back to natural girls. Because like, I don't know, I just feel that. What do you think? Then I'm gonna bake also here. I'm smiling just because Wayne Goss from uh, a Goss makeup artist said to do that. Then I go down because I like this kind of square jaw vibe. I know like my makeup application is all over the place, but to me it's like the logic way to do it. Like I do not understand girls who do their eyebrows first. For me it's just like, why, why? Like it's such, such a waste of time. In my opinion, after, do whatever you want, whatever works for everyone, you know? And I'm lining my lip with Whirl, Whirl Lip Liner. Once I line my lips, I just go like this. I'm going to start my eyeshadows and I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star palette. The blood sugar one. Uh, I always use this thing to uh, kind of uh, remove from my brushes the excess and it works very, really, very really well. Okay, so blood sugar. I don't know what I'm gonna do because with this palette I struggle sometimes. It has a lot of pink shades. And when I put a uh, pink on my eyes, I feel like it looks like I have an infection. So I think I'm gonna do something like fallish, like a reddish tone. I really want to use this bright red that is called Prick. Okay, look, let's start by Prick. It's just a bright red shade and I'm gonna put it in my crease. On Instagram, there's a few girls. Oh, okay, there is one girl. I'm not gonna tell her name because it's not the point. But she always makes Insta stories. Uh, like, she always makes Insta stories telling that everyone copies her. Basically, she has a number of followers that is very high, but sometimes she like, another girl that has like five times her following, wears the same pants that she wore maybe like one or two days before her, uh, and she's like, oh la la, look, like on her Insta story, putting the picture of the girl, hashtagging her, 
like putting her name so she can see it and say, look, everyone's copying me, everyone wants to be me, blah, blah, blah. And she's doing it with a lot of people. I'll follow her only because she's pretty. I don't follow her for any other reasons. Like, I only follow her because she's pretty. And basically, like, she said, like, literally, she, she reposted girls saying they copy her when, seriously, there is, like, just maybe one item on the whole picture that corresponds. But she's not stupid. She's obviously, like, a business girl. And she obviously just wants the person with more followers to react and make her advertisement show so she gains more followers. But, and then the same girl posts a picture of Kim Kardashian and say, oh, should I get her haircut? It's like, what I want to say is that people who should really chill out with the copying thing, because in my opinion, everyone kind of copies everyone. When I want an outfit to go out, uh, I, throw, I go through Instagram and if the girl tagged the outfit that I like, I'm going to buy it. Like we all, all inspire each other. Like what, if like an artist is making a painting and he's painting a tree, what you're going to not tell him, uh, you copied the tree. No, no. Like, I mean, we're all here to inspire each other. It's not copying. Like people really, really have to chill out with that. Uh, and uh, how to say, it just makes me laugh. Like, oh, she copied her. It's like, are you five years old? Seriously? Um, and yeah, I, I think like basically there is like high fashion. And everyone copies basically the celebrities. And don't think because someone bought one item like you that they are copying you. It's like, I don't know if you see my point. Like, I regularly get inspired by other girls and buy the same items that they do. You know what I mean? I see thousands of girls with like Cartier bracelets, right? I have, I have some too. And the, who started this? Kim Kardashian? Kylie Jenner. Uh, you know when uh, everyone started cutting their hair in a bob? Kim Kardashian? Kylie Jenner. It's like the perspex, the perspex, the, the sheer heels. Kim Kardashian? Kylie Jenner. So, uh, yeah, what I mean is that you, don't, you shouldn't feel ashamed of being inspired of someone. And by the way, when someone asks me where I buy my stuff, I share with you with pleasure. Like, with pleasure, no problem. Like, sisters, you know what I mean? And um, it makes me laugh because I knew someone that she was asking everyone, where do you do this, where do you buy this, etc. And we were telling her everything. But when someone asked her where she was getting something, which was not happening that often because she didn't really have anything interesting, she wouldn't say. And I told her, why, why don't you say where you get your stuff? What do you care? Yeah, but after everyone's going to copy me, blah, blah, blah. But what do you care? There is a thing called influencers. This job was created by people who copy people. I don't know if you understand. So basically, what I want to say is that people should chill out. Not everyone comes up with an outstanding original style. Sorry, I'm also too boring for that. I just prefer to copy girls I see on Instagram. But I buy what I like. That's it. You know what I mean? But also, when I shop in Zara, I take the, the stuff I like and etc. But if you see a nice outfit on a girl, just copy it seriously. Don't break your head to try to invent something, you're, unless you are a designer. Okay, I took this dangerous red shade that I'm probably gonna regret. <sighs> Should I do something else? Oh, I don't know, fuck it. Just going into my crease with an Anastasia brush, the one that comes through with the palette. And uh, usually, guys, if you think that, like, my makeup looks shit at the moment, it does. Uh, usually it like the last step make it looks good for some reason, you know? Then I'm gonna go into a outer V vibe with the color Intravenous. Intravenous! This one. Oh my god, I have so much powder on my face that what I did, when I did that, everything came in my eye, but whatever. Okay, once I applied it with the MAC 217, I am going to take back the Anastasia brush, take the same color a little bit and just blend it in. Okay, once I have this like cut eye shape, I'm going to take the MAC 217 uh, no, 239, the flat uh, shader brush. And I'm 
am going to put on my uh, lid this color, cherry soda. It's like a cherry color. Da. Actually, fancy Red Bull, well done. Oh my God, do you like Red Bulls, guys? I'm obsessed by Red Bulls. I Do you know if they do a Red Bull without caffeine? I would love that because I could drink Red Bull every day and I would do a heart attack if I would drink so much Red Bull. Oh guys, this about palette, seriously. Like, I feel like I buy a new palette all the time and I don't use eyeshadows every day. So I use eyeshadows from time to time. And, uh, but the palettes are the most attractive thing to buy because they are the most pretty thing. Like this new Anastasia one, how's it called? Soul Tree. I want it, I'm gonna buy it. But I feel like, look, I have this palette for now six months and it's like very touched, you know what I mean? I use it like a few times and I think like it's going too fast. But I'm going to be more selective. I will only buy the things I'm like, I need it. Like there's a color I don't have and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's just like, ter te theoretically, that's what I'm saying. But after, uh, the truth is probably going to be other. By the way, did you see uh, Jeffree Star's thing with um, Shane Dawson? I think it's just so good. Like, just Jeffree Star, just such an inspiration. Well, how to say it? Not really an inspiration, but I really, really like him. I, just, I feel very positively towards him. I really like Shane Dawson, like, he's really funny. And the documentary he did about Jeffrey Sarge is unreal. Jeffrey Sarge is just such a businessman. Like, goals. This is absolute goals. It looks crazy. I'm not gonna leave it like that, don't worry. Okay, I'm just gonna reinforce the colors, meaning, like, add the red in the crease, uh, put some darker shade in the inner... Oh my god, look at my brush. Oh, that's so pigmented. When I got it the first time, I tried it, and I didn't think it was so pigmented, but now I'm actually... I take it back. Okay, I take it back. I'm gonna try to make it look less dramatic. I'm gonna take a, a fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the color sugar cane here. And I'm just gonna like blend the color down with it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna see. Just like make it softer. I wouldn't usually wear this kind of makeup, but like, I, I thought if I'm doing a video, why not do something a bit more extreme? I will make it even stronger, the transition with a white color. Just taking a small angle brush and going underneath my eyebrow with eyeshadow. Like this brush, the same color as before, and ju then just like transition kind of thing. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, gold in the middle of the lid. This one. The color Donor. Charming name. Okay, so just put it in the middle. But it does look fallish, huh? You cannot say no. This looks like fall. Like the leaves, you know what I mean? Okay, so this is my eye look so far. Um, he doesn't really have a um, shimmery inner corner highlight shade, but well, he does kind of, but it's a pink. I don't know if I want to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway, I guess. It's all white matte or pink. It's this one, Candy Floss. Just go for that, I guess. So I do the whole look with the palette. Just going to like already remove my baking. Um, when I remove my bake underneath my eyes, I always use a mix of these two colors from the NYX contour palette on a brush and I just like tap it off basically. Find this candy floss color in my inner corner. I'm gonna show you the makeup after with bright light. Uh, I'm gonna go off camera, apply eyeliner and eyelashes. I don't know which ones I'm gonna use, but usually I, I just order my eyelashes from AliExpress it's gonna be probably these ones, the K22. This is with eyeliner and eyelashes. It's already much better. I love it already a lot more. So I'm gonna remove my bake underneath my cheekbones and just set a bit my face with the powder kind of thing.
this is like a mirror from a super old Mac uh, Christmas collection, holiday collection. These eyelashes are not too, too bad. I quite like them. I'm going to take the chocolate bronzer from uh, Bourjois in the darker shade. I really like that. I used it so much in the past. It's like you can't even imagine. And it smells of chocolate like well nice. Oh, can I talk to you about Kylie Cosmetics? I'm just, I did, like, okay. So they've sent me this. It's an eye pencil, right? Look. So I contacted them and I showed them a video of this because like, seriously, I have drugstores. This was $10. I have drugstores that sell eyeliners for one franc, $1. And um, they don't do that. And I wrote them an email. I said, look, uh, can you replace it or find a solution? Because literally you cannot travel with it. Um, how to say? Sometimes it falls and this totally dries out. Like totally dries out. And um, you know what they answered me? They said, um, well, this default doesn't affect the usage of the product. I was like, what the fuck? Like, are you serious? It's like, I have a closing company, I send you a closing with holes, and then you complain about it, you say, oh, I got this t-shirt with holes, and I tell you, oh, you can still wear it. Like, seriously, uh, I will never buy from Kylie Cosmetics again. Like, this is just ridiculous. I'm sorry, but I'm just warning you. This, for a $10 eyeliner, basic eyeliner, this should not happen. I shouldn't really do this stuff, but you know, you know what, I'm like always like thinking, oh, should I say this, should I say that, should I talk about this, like, scared, scared to be a little bit controversial, but fuck it, like, seriously, like, guys, don't waste your money on this shit, seriously, this is shit. And, no, but, look, everyone has problems with, like, production, I guess, I guess it's something that happens. If they would have replaced, like, sent me a new one, with a proper cap and everything, I would not have said anything. But the team saying that it does not affect the usage of the product? Like, please, can you feel me on this one? This is just like crazy. I'm just bronzing my face. I'm bronzing my forehead, my cheeks, and my ears, and my neck. I'm just gonna do it off camera. I did a million times. Okay, once I'm bronzed, I'm going to take a contouring brush. I use this one from KKW Beauty, which I really like her... Uh, a powder contour palette, which I usually use, but today I'm going to just use the NYX one because I needed the... I didn't want to bring everything here, out here. I was a bit lazy. And I take a mix of these two shades. And this brush is very, very good. It comes with the palette. You don't have to buy it separately and it's actually like usable. And I do a little bit on the sides of my nose. I'm not really precise with my nose. It's small already, but I like to make it look just a little bit smaller. I really like small noses. I'm gonna use a blusher, but I only prefer the peach blush. Oh, okay, whatever. I'm gonna use the peach one. MAC Peaches. Using that one. Just a little bit. Um, ta -ta -ta. What am I gonna do with my lower lash line? Should I do like a contrasting color? Uh, I like quite when I don't have a lot on my lower lash line, so I just think I'm going to... So for highlighter, I'm gonna just use a powder. Usually I use a liquid and a powder, but today whatever. Revolution Strobe Highlighter. And I'm going to take my usual highlight brush, which is the Anastasia one. Just gonna put some. It's very nice, it's a gold highlight shade. I always put now a little bit here too. I use it on my nose. I love how nose highlight looks, it's just like amazing. For a lash line, I'm going to take a small matte pencil brush. Which one here? And I'm going to use the color. You know why I also like such a lazy bitch? In all my palettes, I sometimes don't pick up this one because of the opening. And it's true that it's more for extravagant eye looks. Like, it's not really an everyday palette, in my opinion. 
I'm just gonna take a little bit of ouch, this kind of brown shade and put it underneath my lash line. I'm gonna put the nude eyeliner. Uh, I always use the Rimmel one. I have to buy more because it kind of runs out. And uh, put bottom lash mascara. Okay, coming to the end. Now I have just my lips to do. And I have packed two lipstick and a gloss. So let's see what I chose. Cream cup or Pearzen? I don't know. I'm gonna use cream cup. So yes. This is not bad. Okay guys, so this is my final makeup look. I'm quite happy with it. It's not something I would wear every day, but I mean, why not? What do you think about it? Tell me in the comments below. Um, like the video if you liked it, don't like it if you didn't like it, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love that. And see you in my next video. Bye!